I played with Jimmy Butler. I'm oh, competitive. Oh, here we go. I seen, I played oh, with Jimmy, and Jimmy my guy. I love Jimmy. You one of the few people I seen go at Jimmy like how you went at Jimmy. Me and Jimmy speak the same language, though. Yeah, I do. Mm -hmm. We speak the same language. I do. The next day, me and Jimmy was drinking coffee, playing dominoes. I can like, see that. Never happened. You know what I'm saying? It was over. You know how it is growing up in the hood. Yeah. You fight with your homeboy, and the next day, y'all at the park playing basketball together. Yeah. Over with. You move on. Now you know that's love. I always love that about y'all, like y'all team. It's like y'all could talk to each other on the court. Like even when Bron and them was there, I used to hear y'all yelling at each other. And <laughs> oh, that's to be like, oh, we got him. <laughs> I was like, we got him. And the next thing I know, I'm like, these clapping hands. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it was in Atlanta in the playoffs. Yeah. I thought y'all had us. Don't worry. About that. <laughs> I thought y'all had us. Stop that, man. We can, we can talk oh, about we can that talk for a minute. Why not talk about, about it? Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Y'all thought y'all had us. We never thought we was. When I played y'all, I remember one year we thought we was going to beat y'all. I remember we had got Jamal Crawford. I think oh, it was so cold, boy. First Gosh, or second year. It was a butt. Oh, they had a crazy oh, backboard. Oh. We thought we was going to beat the Bulls and we was going to get to you guys. And we like, we got them. We match up well. And we got Joe, we got Josh, we got Al for the forwards. I remember that. I was like, Mario can't <laughs> with me. That's how we felt. Like, Mario, like, Mario, tell me that. We good. Better not let Mario hit it. I know. Yeah, I, love I, love you know, I love Rio. I love Rio. I know. I just said my dog. That's my dog. I He's just competitive. Rio. But then. We ran into D Rose MVP year. Oof, that's different. We, that was a different. That D Rose. We didn't count crazy. on him. <laughs> we had forgot. Man, he lit us up, bro. I was guarding him worse. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it there. Y'all can. That's that's the, that's the thing that sucks about this league, man. Is like you see D Rose. People forget how unbelievable he was. Amazing. Oh, legend. That's crazy. No that legend. Crazy. Legend. Legend. Oh, listen, it was hell guard now. Man, he had all kinds of schemes. Hard that show, blitz, was trap, elite though. Every sure. The Bulls team is elite. We thought we was gonna beat them to get to y'all. We forgot. I'm like, what the hell? Y'all yeah, forgot about them. They the number one seed. <laughs> like, what the? Yeah, they were the number one seed that year. That they was were. record shit. Mm -hmm. But we nah. dropped that off too, though. Yes, we did. Yeah, it really did. That East was nasty back yeah, then, though. It was. Because uh, Indiana was good. I was about to say, good. as a Pacer fan, I gotta talk about this. You know what I'm saying? I understood it. You know what I'm saying? Y'all won those series. But I would like y'all to speak, like, how was those series? Because, like, those were really good series. I know it's the Pacers people don't talk about us a lot. Shit. But that Pacers heat, especially for those two years, that was a real rivalry. Like, y'all, it was a really good yeah, basketball yeah. series. Listen, that was honestly who we worried about every year. Yeah, for real. We worried, about, we worried about the Pacers. Yeah, we did. It was always they was always like one or two, or we were one or two, and then you had Boston in there. You know what I'm saying? But we always worried about the Pacers. David West, big ass Roy Hibbert, Paul, Paul George, Paul George, D. Granger, uh, D. Granger, Granger. Granger. yeah, like Lance. Lance. Like we we did worry about them, and the first time we beat them, we had home court advantage. So we kept reading in the paper that they were saying next year if they have home court, they can win it. They have home court. All we needed is home court. So that stuck in our head. That Stuck in our head the whole season. So next year they got what they wanted. They got number one seed and we had number two. And they got home court. And we made it personal. Cause we had just remembered that they were saying that it made it seem like the only reason we won cause we had home court. If we would've had home court, we would've won. Next year we get home court, we gonna win. Okay, now y'all got home court. Now what y'all gonna do? Y'all team was cheating though. <laughs> Let's keep it real. No, I remember when Bron came to Miami. The, everybody was like, oh, this is weak. I ain't gonna lie. I don't, I ain't give a fuck. I was in my what, third year. I was like, I don't care. I just want to hoop. I'm trying to get paid. <laughs> but I hear, I remember Joe. I was at Joe Johnson's house and he was just like, why would they do this? <laughs> He's like, this weak, man. Bro, I ain't weak for that. Shit. Then when I got older and I seen KD do it. And I was like, why would the <laughs> he do this? <laughs> like, that's weak. But when y'all came together, that. It was crazy, and I thought you was leaving. I was hype as hell. I was gonna leave. He said, I, was I was hype. I'm like, they ain't got the glue. I was. Yeah, they ain't got nobody. They ain't had no money. I know. Because of him. But you got it back. See how I get blamed for everything. Him. But you always get blamed for getting that money, and I rock with that. You know what I'm saying? He, 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 he still the get the money, money, man. Oh yeah, he do. He got the money, man. <laughs> what, I, what I would say about that team is, we all had to go through a process of nobody wanting to step on each other's toes. Yeah. Everybody wanted to make everybody feel comfortable. We had that um, that training camp on the Army base. I think that's when that. Braun went at D-Wade, D-Wade went at Braun, I went at CB, everybody went at each other, and I think that kind of helped smooth it out. Cause I really hated y'all then, though. Cause y'all had that <laughs> on TV. They had that on TV. I was watching, I was like, damn. Bro, it looked like Remember going. the Titans, bro, when they yeah, went to Yeah, I ain't camp. gonna say I hated y'all. I hated Norris Cole and Mario Chalmers. Cause I was like, damn. And I think Pat Bev was <laughs> yeah, there. Yeah, Pat Bev was I there. was like, they lucky to know my <laughs> Like, damn. But I didn't know, like, be honest, the real on them, they job was probably hard as Oh. D-Wade said this to me 
uh, not too long ago. He said, I didn't realize how hard your job was. Mm -hmm. A guy that comes into the game and not knowing how many shots or where he gonna get his shots from, but yeah. you gotta be ready. He's like, I never really thought about how hard it was to be in your position. He's like, me, I know I'm gonna get my shots. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get whatever I want. I'm gonna do whatever I want. He's like, I never thought about how hard it is for a guy that don't know where their shots coming from, don't know when they gonna get them to still be ready. Like it. I thought about it the other day, he's like, that can't that be was most messed up part about our jobs really was that. Like yeah. everyone says sacrifice, sacrifice. Sacrifice is cute, man. If you know what the result's going to be. Yeah, if you don't know what the some result's going to be, boy. you sacrifice for nothing. It was some dog Chris nights. Bosch had the biggest sacrifice. He did. Chris Bosh had a big one. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. With great wow, impact, he was in though. Toronto. Toronto. Which impact. It was Toronto, should be. But, but, give it, but, but if his health doesn't, if he doesn't do that with the clots, though, like, what they did for him there would extend his career forever because he never shot three. Uh, he came yeah, to yeah. us. Yes. Like, yes. Spo was so ahead of that, yes. that the small ball. Like, I'm telling you, CB, if he stayed healthy, would have been still be playing. Everybody think that our most important player was Braun. Our most important player, not our best player, but our most important player was CB. Yeah, yep. damn. He was our most important player. Yeah, for real. Yeah. Because if Braun, if Braun went down, you could bring in D Wade, and it's not the same player, but you're gonna get similar results of what yeah. you're gonna get out of the player. Making plays, he can go for thirty. We couldn't, we couldn't simulate it. We ain't have another CB. Mm -hmm. If that went down and he got hurt, we didn't have and, another and one the, of those. And the way Spo started using him too was impossible to guard. Like he was shooting threes, like. Yeah. Him, he was, that's why that the, man was cold, brother. Nah, he closed he, it out uh, on threes as a big. That's what I'm like, saying. Yeah. And well, that was back when no pop did, threes no did that. Nah, yeah, pick and pop threes. I ain't letting y'all do that. Al Horford was the first one. Hell no. Nah. Yeah, he was. Nah. Hell yeah. Hell no. Nah. Hell yeah. Listen, I love Al Horford. He's Hell a gator, nah. but nah, nah. Nah, he was the first one shooting threes. How about Dirk Diggler? Huh? Let's go with Dirk and Whiskey. How about that? Dirk was, he was never a four. I mean, he was never a center. He was always a small Al's, four, power four. Al's was not a center? Al was a center for us. Listen. <laughs> Al, we, he the reason Roy Hibbert had to retire. Mm. Oh, We played the Pacers. There's a couple of reasons that Roy Hibbert retired. <laughs> I got some of that, too. We can make a long podcast. There's a couple, a couple of reasons okay. Roy had to get up out of there. I got some of that, too. Yeah, yeah. crazy. <laughs> I'm just being honest. I love it. I love it. But look, you got to think about it. We played them, and I'll never forget. I've watched the game back, and one of the announcers was like, this is not a series. Doug Collins was like, this is not a series for Roy Hibbert. They're going to play five out. And we start like, with Bud, he was like, we're going to play five out. We're going to spread the floor and shoot as many threes as you can. God, I love that. Because we was the eighth seed. We didn't think we was like, he was like, we, didn't, mm -hmm. we weren't even trying to make the playoffs. We was trying to get Giannis. We were tanking to get Giannis. And literally, Lou Williams on our team, he was like, F that. Let's make the playoffs. You know, like the office, like like they wasn't playing people or nothing. He was like, F that. we going to the playoffs, you know, and we end up making the AFC. And then Bub was like, let's just shoot as many threes as we can. And we played five out and Roy Hibbert was up. Like I was walking to the basket. Like he out there with Al and Pero. I'm just throwing it to him. Hey, man, we was five out. Mike Scott was five. <laughs> we, we played all small guys. And that was the first time everybody was like, oh, and then they went on, they beat us. We, ended, we was up 3-2, got nervous, lost uh, in Atlanta, game six. We were scared as hell. Remember that? We was like, we were shaking. We up like eight, we were like, <laughs> with like two minutes to go, David West was like, these don't know how to win. I'm like, we don't. <laughs> I was like, we don't. <laughs> David West took over, him and PG. We, I'm over there looking like, damn, we go game seven, lose, whatever. But that was when the small ball first kicked. I mean, for, for me, my situation, Roy, I ain't gonna put that on Roy. That was on the coaching. That's on Vogel. <laughs> Vogel with that bull thinking that I'm gonna be the motherfucker that's gonna lose it for us. He's gonna leave me open. So he gonna leave, he gonna that was keep, scout he report. gonna keep, yeah. He gonna keep Big Roy at the paint because Bron and D-Wade like to penetrate and get in the paint yeah. and get to the basket. And he figured Roy gonna guard the basket. That's when everybody was big on that verticality rule. Yep, and Roy was big, he was great at that. Yep. Stand in front of that rim and jump up straight vertical, you can't finish over him. So I was gonna be always the outlet. I was always the outlet in that series. So the it was really just letting me shoot. Like that was gonna be the game plan. I, I was disrespectful. <laughs> that motherfucker <laughs> shoot. Yeah, that <laughs> disrespectful. And then the thing about it is, the motherfucker tried it again the next year. The same scheme. What the fuck you think? I got worse at shooting. <laughs> he can't do it again. Yeah, he can't do it again. Eight for nine on your ass again. <laughs> Eight oh, for we nine. Was home court, UD. Eight for nine on your ass again. So I ain't gonna put that on Roy. That was Vogel with that. Yeah, no, we, kinda, Paul, yeah, we're gonna put that on Roy too. Yeah, I took that a little personal, Vogel. I mean, we are we are right now, but when I still see him, I'll be like, eh, 